Well, we all saw the press conference yesterday where we were told that we'd get more information about when we could travel, how we could travel and what would be going on. Well, as you all know, Boris told us nothing, apart from we're hopeful from May the 17th we'll be able to travel again. Well, didn't really tell us much. There has been a lot leaked in the papers over the last couple of days about a traffic light system for different countries. You've got green, which means you can go to that country and come back from that country and don't have to quarantine, although there's a couple of tests involved. You've got amber, which means you can come and go from that country. You'll need to quarantine at home and a couple of tests involved. And then you've got red, which are basically no go, keep away. Uh, if you're a British citizen, you can come back home into the country, but you'll have to quarantine in a hotel which we already know costs at least £1,700 for one person and there will be two tests involved before you're let out. Now one question that came to my mind was how much are these tests going to cost? Everyone's going to say oh they're free, they're free, they're no problem. Bollocks. Somebody's making big money out of this somewhere. So uh, I, I had a uh, a little look around this morning and I found uh, an article from the owner of EasyJet which was on the BBC website I'm calling the owner he's the boss of EasyJet he's saying that these tests will make it prohibitive for people to go on holiday it will only be open to the wealthy because you're looking at a couple of hundred pounds a pop per test per person so you know it doesn't take a lot of adding up two four six eight ten it it's well over a thousand pound extra for a family of four to go on holiday with all these tests, if it is true. So even though we will be open up from May the 17th, hopefully, according to Boris, I don't believe many people are going to be able to afford to travel at all. It really stinks. They don't want us traveling anywhere. They're so worried about losing control of the situation, losing control of us, they don't want anyone going anywhere and they don't want to import any other variants of the old Kung Flu back into this country. So I think for at least 2021, you can kiss your holidays goodbye, I'm afraid. It really stinks because the aviation industry is on its knees. People that provide transport to people to the airports are on their knees also. I'm one of those, by the way. I run a separate business doing that. So it's a bad, bad situation. And he's ignoring the problem. He's just letting it go on and on and on and on and nobody knows anything about what's occurring anymore. So we will see and I will update you as and when I can. Ta-da!